well hello hello welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are putting together easter baskets this is like one of my favorite videos to film it's just so fun to see what moms put in their kids easter baskets and i have done one for the last i don't even know how many years like three so you guys can go check those out if you want and kind of see how it's progressed over the last three or four years with me being on youtube but it changes every year and we have become very intentional about what we put in our kids easter baskets and i just really enjoy just putting little goodies so these are the kids easter baskets this year they are elephant grass wheat baskets from Ghana, Africa. I love to support small businesses when I can. I am very passionate about that. And if you're new, hello, how are you? My name is Noelle. I do all kinds of mama content as well as homemaking content here on this channel. And we vlog, we do a lot of cooking and baking from scratch too. So that's kind of what we do here, a lot of thrifting. Although I haven't done a thrifting video in like a little bit, but we do a lot of thrifting. I have two kids, three and four, and we are gonna be putting together their Easter baskets today, and I'm so excited for it. So I did get these Easter baskets, or I got these baskets from the farmer's market. Actually, one from the farmer's market and one on Amazon, which they're the same baskets from the same company. But um, when I went to the farmer's market, they didn't have any more, so I was like, oh, okay. So I ordered it real quick and it got here in about a day from Amazon Prime. Don't we love Amazon Prime? I love me some fast shipping. So that's what I did and it has its cute little like card. I love that. And it's from a African Heartwood Project. And the care is really simple and it's nice because you can shape these baskets kind of however you want. All you have to do is get it wet and shape it while it's wet, let it dry and you can wash these baskets too, which are really nice. And they also can fold up too. So I guess you would just get it wet and fold it up if you wanted to fold it. Um, so I'm in love with these baskets. We usually thrift our kids' baskets, but they just break every single year. My kids, we go through a lot of baskets in this house. So I just thought we would get something a little more durable that they can use every year. Cause every year for the past, I don't know how many years they've had like, they've had different Easter baskets every year. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. I try to keep it pretty simple this year. I tried to keep it simple. Last year I think we went super overboard. This year I tried to keep it a little bit more minimal and simple because I just feel like my kids do not need many things. A lot of the time we buy a lot of things that we feel like they need and just like little treats and goodies in the baskets. But I just felt like this year they just didn't need much. So. Let's go ahead and let's just get straight in. Also, side note, it is raining real hard outside, so you guys will hear the rain, and I do have the window open, so I hope you guys don't mind that, because otherwise it gets so hot and stuffy in here. And yeah, a few of you from my other videos that I did some months back said you really like the rain in the background, so I hope you guys like it and enjoy it today, because that fresh air, that fresh, cold, rainy air feels so good in here right now. I definitely went to World Market. There is a vlog that is coming out after this one. Maybe not right after, but you guys will see I went to World Market. And these are the things, a lot of the things I got from World Market. If you don't know what World Market is, it's such a cute, cute, lovely store. They have a lot of things from all over the world there. And it's just really nice. Pretty affordable, too. And I really enjoy shopping there. My mom shopped there a lot of the time for our Easter baskets. I know you can buy Easter baskets from the store, like the already done Easter baskets, but we like to be really intentional here. And this stems back to when I was a child. My mom put together the most extravagant Easter baskets. Like they were so nice. She would even do like the cellophane plastic with like all these ribbon and bows on top. I'm not going to be doing all that because I just feel like it's unnecessary and I really don't like plastic. Try to be as eco-friendly as possible. But I used to appreciate that so much as a kid to know that she put it together herself. She sourced all the items. She put it together. She was very intentional and thoughtful about it. She didn't put tons of candy, which we won't be putting tons of candy in these baskets either. But a little treat treats like... You, what, you gotta have some treats, right, in your baskets. But I just wanted to give you guys a little backstory on why I love homemade Easter baskets. You guys know, if you've been here, I love homemade, like, everything. Like, the goal is always homemade, but I know for everyone that's not possible. Some people just don't have the time, the money, and maybe just don't want to put in the effort, and that's okay, too. So I just wanted to put that out there. 
that it's totally fine if you buy your kids Easter baskets from the store already put together and you know you not have to be putting together an Easter basket from home to be a good mom like I just want to put that out there did get a few things from Amazon as well and from some small shops too so we didn't go all small shop but we did some small shop things because we always like to support our small shops when we can and yeah so I saved <laughs> I saved my Easter basket like little papers I saved the Easter basket papers from the previous years I have white that actually came from a package and then brown that I bought off of Amazon a few years ago mixed them together and we were using this for sensory but I always save it I have more this is just what I kind of brought over from my big bag of filler because I don't want to buy that stuff every year it is expensive and like why if I could just save it from the year prior and keep using it so this is probably a few years old and I just use it every year so a little tip if you want to be a little more eco-conscious and a little bit more smart with your money and not buy the filler because i was surprised at how expensive the filler can be unless you go to the dollar store but okay so we got our little stuffing here and i'm gonna just put a little bit of that in here and i'm going to kind of take you through everything that i bought the kids and then we'll like put it together i used to have so much more brown like it became so white which is odd because i had a whole bunch of brown like what happened to all the brown paper that I had hopefully my camera doesn't overheat because the window is open and my camera is not here for warm weather it always overheats but in the winter it overheats a little less so we love that I got two of these baskets to start out and then we're just gonna go through all the things that I got all right so for a little treat I got these honey spoons clover honey oh it just gave me the overheat sign of course it did I got these clover honey spoons from World Market. I thought these would be a really nice just little treat. My kids love honey. They eat honey by itself if they can. They'll dip their little fingers in the honey jar or tube and they'll just eat it. So I thought this would be really fun to give them some honey spoons because they like honey, they enjoy it. And it's not too bad of a treat, you know, like it's natural honey. And it doesn't have any corn syrup made with real honey. And you know we're here for that. I love that. And it would be really good in tea too. I might steal a couple of these and put it in my tea or my coffee. So definitely here for that. I thought that was a really good treat. All of these items, all of these items are pretty intentional. So you will see a lot of me explaining on why I got what I got. Pacha Pieces Froth Bombs. And this is a variety pack of bath bombs. And I just thought that this was really nice they smell so divine like you can smell them through the tubing and there is a pretty like lavender one like a creamy one a pinky one and I don't know what this one is at the bottom it looks like a white one so I'm really excited to use these for myself as well as the kids love bath bombs so I thought I could give them two and then I can have two for my bath and I enjoy to unwind with the bath so the scents are french lavender sweet honey almond ooh that sounds really good rose water and jasmine gardenia and the french lavender is for calming the sweet honey almond is for soothing rose water for hydrating and jasmine gardenia for softening so that sounds amazing and they are no synthetic fragrances very important to me crafted in the u.s cruelty free and made without paraben sulfates and sls another side note i am very much into non-toxic living okay so my camera did overheat so it's gonna be a time filming this video but it's so worth it for you guys okay so if you didn't know i am very much into non-toxic living so you will see a lot when i say a lot of these products are very intentional like i mean it meaning i sat here and i was reading ingredients looking up ingredients when i was um looking at these items because i'm just really into no fragrances if they are going to be fragrance they got to be natural and good ingredients good clean ingredients that i want for my kids and for my family so we are very cautious about what we bring into the house we're not perfect by any means we're still very much going through our non-toxic journey but we have made so many changes over the last four to five years on this journey since having kids and i am loving this kind of lifestyle you just are very intentional about every how take a shot for every time i say intentional because oh my gosh like it's gonna be probably said a lot in this video but it's true i am very 
dare I say again, intentional about what we bring into the house. Again, we're not perfect, but we try, okay? So all natural scents, that's very important to me. So there were some really, really cute ones. I was going to get the kids these really cute big bath bombs with like, with very nice dried flowers. But then I started reading it and it had, it had all of these fragrance and kind of gross ingredients in the bath bomb. So I was like, okay, this is not what we want. And I found the last one at my world market that was all natural. So I'm very excited about that. Very excited. And it was like $12, so not too, too bad. So we're gonna be enjoying these bath bombs in our bath. And I know the kids will have a lot of fun with those. So I thought that would be a really nice little treat and kind of spice up and make bath time just a little more fun. Not like they already don't have so much fun in the bath because my floor is very wet at the end of every bath. So they have a blast in there, but why not have a little more fun, you know? Here for it. So something else that I got is this Kaleidoscope by Huckleberry, by Huckleberry. So this is ages six and up, and I thought this would be cute for Nola. Nola's only three, but I still thought it would be fun, and they could both play with this. And if you guys don't know what a kaleidoscope is, then what kind of childhood did you have? No, just kidding. Very fun. You can look at some psychedelic-looking shapes and pictures, and I just thought that would be really, really fun. So I got them a little kaleidoscope. And it looks like this brand is very green and it supports children and natural networks. So you guys know I love that. And the packaging is so cute. Like, look at that. Little ladybugs and little flowers on it. So I thought this would be really fun to stick in the kids' Easter baskets. So that will probably be for Nola. And then for Noah, who is my little bug guy, he loves bugs. So I thought this would be really fun. This is also by Huckleberry. Pop-up net. It's a pop-up net to catch and study and release bugs or little creatures so I thought this would be really fun very cute and it comes like with a little sleeve because you guys already know I had to open it and kind of check it out so I kind of folded it weird and wow this is a bright sleeve but it's okay but, woo look at that that is so fun I wish I had I had little bug kits and stuff as a kid and I just think it's really fun we definitely like to go outside and embrace nature and it has a cute little wooden handle and I just thought this was this would be really fun for spring and summer coming up. So yeah, I got him a little bug net where he can catch all his little creatures and stuff. So I thought those would be fun little toys for the kids to have this summer and spring. Okay, so something else I got the kids is this really nice, they each got one of these. If I can get it out it's a Montessori cutter and it makes it so it's safe to cut their little fruits and vegetables or whatever else they're trying to cut without cutting their fingers so this way they can't cut their little fingers when they are trying to be independent and cut their own little snacks because my kids are very interested in knives I don't know about any of you mamas experienced that but I'm like they are so here for danger and I'm like no every single time so I thought this would be nice, even butter knives. Like my son is always like, can I just like cut my own banana or cut my own carrots? And I'm like, absolutely not. So I thought this would be really fun and really useful. I've been wanting to get them this for a long time. So it just looks like this little wooden cutter. So I think they're gonna be really excited about that. And that's something they can really use on an everyday basis. And also if you're new here, we love our Montessori activities and Montessori lifestyle. Montessori meaning that the kids are very independent, led by natural source materials. So a lot of wood, rattan, those kind of things. So a lot of wooden toys as well as learning based and more on the neutral side. And it's kind of home based. Everything is lifestyle and home based that they do when it comes to Montessori. If you don't know about it, you should really check it out because I highly, highly enjoy it. It just really, encourages a lot of life skills that the kids will need as they grow older and this is perfect this is absolutely perfect for Montessori learning so if you're interested in Montessori this is a good good little tool I think to keep on hand so I cannot wait for them to be using this little guy I'm gonna keep this out the packaging because we are gonna put our little baskets together after this these are from the dollar store I will also try to link all of these items down below if possible. We'll see how good I do <laughs> with linking things because they're kind of from all over, but I will do my best. So these are Wack-A-Pack balloons, 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 Wack-A-Pack balloons. I've never heard of these, but I just thought they were 
interesting they are from the dollar store surprisingly dollar store you don't sleep on the dollar store has some good things yes they're not the most sustainable place to shop but they have cute little fun things here and there and i do enjoy them so i got them each one of these and i believe it's just a balloon you let air into it and then it just blows up so i thought that would be really fun my kids really enjoy balloons and i just thought it would be like a, be a fun little activity for them to do they are dropping change in there they are dropping my coins so i thought that would be just like a fun little thing to kind of stick in there that they will have fun with are you guys ready for this these are so cute so inside this little box it says havana cigars don't <laughs> don't worry they're not cigars but it's just a really look at the box is so cute very very cute so these are i'll open it with you guys upside down so it's by the company melee i believe i'm pronouncing that right and i got them these cute little mom and dad mice and it comes with their like little bedding and stuff like that how cute is that and these are the little mice i've been wanting to start collecting these for the kids for quite some time and i just thought they were so cute and now i thought it would be the perfect time to start collecting in a little gift basket so this one will be for noah and this one will be for nola and you can take their little sleep mask off and then they're just their little eyeballs are there and they're cute and if you don't know about this company they are a small company so cute they have all different kinds of outfits and all different kinds of mice and stuff you can get and i thought that was so cute to play with their little dollhouse i want to get them the cute little outfits because my kids are very much into pretend play right now and especially nola she loves to do her little doll houses they have a little farm like barn thing and i just thought adding these to their little collection of little pretend play would be really fun so they have cute little furniture you can get for it as well so every year and birthdays and stuff i want to just start adding to that because they're so into that right now and i love that i find it so adorable when they they start playing and making voices and all that with their cute little animals that they have so i thought these would be perfect because they're doll size or a little miniature size these these are really cute they're just little bunnies but they're made out of repurposed quilts so i thought this would be a really fun little touch to put in their basket and it would be also really fun for them to play with each other with them like they kind of will do with the mice i believe they just love pretend play right now and playing with each other so i got these from bear and basil what happened to my light these are so cute i got them each a beatrix potter book so this one will be for noah this is the little pig book which i thought was so cute is it piggly bland yes piggling bland the tale of Pigling Bland, so cute. And then the back, I'm going to laminate or cover the covers in like a book jacket because they don't come like the cover is, they come like this. And I wanna keep the cute little white cover intact because I just think that makes the books that much more special. And we already have a little collection of these going. So I thought I would go ahead and just make sure the covers are nice and jacketed so we can keep them the way they are because you know kids are rough on the covers right so i got them this and i love beatrix potter she is one of the authors she is one of the authors that i definitely trust when it comes to kid books because i feel like some you just gotta you just gotta watch some of these kid books out there and what they might be whatever kind of narrative they're trying to push towards your kids so i am very picky about what kind of books we buy for them this is the cicely parsley's nursery rhymes that one will be for Nola. Super cute. And if you don't know, Beatrix Potter is the one who wrote Peter Rabbit and all of the friend books. And we already have a huge collection that I was able to thrift. And it's just honestly so pretty. All of the beautiful pictures. And she dates back, I think, to the 1800s, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken. But I really enjoy her illustrations as well as... The writing of her books are just so cute they're very much written in like old english language so if you're not used to that you may not enjoy her books but i really enjoy her books and her little videotapes and stuff like that for the kids i just think it's so classic so i believe 1897 was beatrix potter yeah 
and this one was published in 1922. I just feel like it's a piece of history and I highly enjoy it. That's her right there. So she's written a lot of classics and I really enjoy her books and her style of writing and the illustrations and it all. So I wanted to get them each one for their little collection that we have going. And then these will be alongside my kids' baskets because I don't think they're gonna be able to fit in them because the baskets are pretty small and I did that on purpose so I just didn't overdo it because I wanted to keep it pretty simple. So these were from the dollar store which I thought was a huge win. So if you are Jesus believers then I think you guys would really enjoy these. These are the story of Moses. Well this one is the story of Moses. This one is I believe the story of Noah's Ark which I have a Noah so that's his favorite book in the Bible. And then we have the Daniel and the Lions so I thought that was going to be fun to read about and Jonah and the whale so these are so cute and you cannot beat it they're a dollar and the illustrations are seriously so cute and they're nice short reads so if you have little kids you know well I guess they're not that short but there's not that many pages so kind of equals out but I thought these were really nice so these will be alongside my kids Easter baskets or I might even give them to them early because we love a good book on the bible so i'm trying to teach my kids about stories in the bible and that can be a little challenging i feel like at this age because they're still so young okay so this is editing me because somehow this clip got deleted or erased and it's missing where i was sharing the cute little treats that i got the kids for their baskets so i got these fried egg little gummies from world market and each of them got one of those because my kids love gummies so i thought that was really cute and then I got them each one of these trail mixes that are, this one's carrot cake and it has yogurt, flavored coated raisins, which they love raisins, glazed walnuts, carrot cake flavored cookies, coconut, coated pineapple, and coated pretzel sticks, which <laughs> I think is going to be really good. Got that for Noah and then this is for Nola. We got the bunny bait. We had this last year, which was really good. So this one's with honey roasted peanuts, white chocolate covered pretzel balls, M&M's, milk chocolate candies, confetti, cookie pieces, white chocolate covered raisins, and marshmallows. So I think these would be really good little treats and something that they don't have every day. So these are the little treats that I got them for their basket. And I have no idea what happened to that footage from the video, but I just thought I would pop in here real quick and share the little treats that I got. But anywho, um, that's all I got. That is all I got for the kids' Easter baskets, and I feel like that is more than enough. And now we're going to put them together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and let's throw these baskets together and make it pretty simple. And I'm so excited for them to receive all of these little goodies on Easter. here they are here they are all put together so exciting like how fun was this this was really fun I just never imagined one day I would be putting together my own kids Easter basket so this one's for little Nola my three-year-old and I just think it's so cute and the little the little handle it is definitely stuffed 
to the brim but it's so cute and I think she's gonna love it so this is hers and this is for my little guy or should I say my big guy Noah so I think that they're really gonna enjoy these baskets and let's be honest you could put one little piece of candy in here and the kids are absolutely gonna enjoy it and love it no matter what so I don't think it's so much what you put in the Easter baskets it's just the love and the thoughtfulness that kind of goes behind it but yeah kids aren't super picky anyways I got to close out this video before they come out here I'm going to put everything back into the world market bag and hide it away for a few more weeks until it is time to give them out but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more Easter basket inspiration from me I will try to remember to link down my other videos that I've filmed over the years it has changed a lot there's some more inspiration for you here on this channel for Easter basket things and remember you don't have to spend a ton of money to have good Easter baskets again it's thought love that goes into it and your kids are not going to be discriminating at all of what you probably put in them so keep that in mind and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.